All right, guys, I'm gonna get you a front yard here, a front yard here across the street. And then I'm going to uh, go to one more property and show you the backyard of it. And then we'll conclude this video and give our final thoughts on the Hustler. So uh, let's get you some more footage over here.
I'm gonna take this mower back to the dealer or to the uh, to the rep, and uh, we'll go over some thoughts about this thing. So, yeah, man, let me know what you think down below. What do you think about it? I'm gonna set you up. We're gonna mow this uh, front yard. Stack it up. Stack it up. Stack it up. Making that money, money. Rain on me. Making that money, money. Living that dream. Making that money, money. Rain on me. Making that money, money. Living that dream. Making that money. Money. Making that money. think the ferris can lay it down i don't know what you're thinking you're thinking all wrong your thinking's gone crazy okay the ferris lays it down uh this we are going to uh load up i'm on uh, i got some more properties to take care of but uh after that we're going to give a final thoughts let you know what we think of this thing so uh let's go the Hustler Super S, what do I think about it? Pros, cons, things of that. So the first thing I noticed was with that flap down, uh, then it really just chunked the grass. If you notice on that first property, how it dispersed the grass. So during the first property, I went and I got some trimmer line, tied up the chute and wow, what a difference that made. Uh, second, I like that there's nothing really, you know, to keep you from scraping the bottom of the deck on the the uh, the Super S, but it it left quite a few stragglers. Like I was having to go over parts uh, a couple times, either from the way you know grass disbursement was, which I sometimes I have to do it on this as well. So you know I'm not knocking that by any means, but I feel like with that mower, I had to do it more than not because of uh, either grass clipping disbursement or the stragglers that it would uh, leave. And so that turned into one big thing there. So then um, <clears throat> let's start with the back of it here. So like the pad, uh, you know, that, that you lean against or whatever. So the first thing I noticed was uh, it felt very comfortable until I started coming down a hill. Uh, like you'll notice on them properties that had the, the hills, it would go up the hill without pulling the wheels. Love that, love that. But when it when I'm going down the hill and my knees would go into that mat, it didn't feel like there was anything there. I mean, it just poof, right into the, the uh, metal behind that. So it was kind of, like pointless to even be there, I guess you could say. That I really feel they could pad that way more than what it is. Uh, hills, going up a hill was great. Uh, when it came to going down a hill was fine, but going at an angle down a hill, if you notice, man, that thing will not hold that hill at all. Coming up it, uh, was totally different story. Coming up at, at, at that angle was fine. Going down it at that angle, um, it just wanted to, you know, I mean, I couldn't, I could let completely off the right hydro and just push the left one to try to get it to stay, you know, and it would still just slide right down. But the tires are real thin on that. So that leads to my next thing is 
with them thin of tires and the weight of that machine is, is you know, I'm kind of worried about, A, is it going to rut more than having a wider tire? Uh, of course, you know, the wider the tire, the better the, the heel you're going to hold, this, that, and other things of that. But is, is it, you know, when it's wet out, is it going to rut uh, way easier or is it actually going to rut uh, more compared to, you know, a 52 inch width tire, which is way wider uh, than the 48. So the deck is literally, I mean, the cutting width of that deck is, is at inside the tire if not right at i mean if it's if it's at the outside of that tire it is right at it but i think it's it i think your tire is running over your cutting uh so I, there's no overlap whatsoever so like when it comes to uh getting close to fences and stuff like that you, your tires got to be right up against it uh, or you ain't, you know, I mean, that's, that's where your, your trim part of your mower is. And so, uh, so unlike, you know, uh, these other decks that stick out past the wheels and cut past the wheels, well, you can get closer to objects. Uh, one thing I found was with that gas tank being on the outside, uh, like it was, uh, with this machine, I could get under swing sets. Um, and you know put part of the the deck completely underneath it with the hustler I couldn't do that because that gas tanks there so I, I didn't have that room to get underneath that uh, area another thing you'll notice is uh, whenever you're on a, a slight slant or something you can't get as close to fences as you normally could because once again the gas tank is there so if you're leaning a little bit well your gas tanks gonna be you know closer uh, to your post or you know, whatever the case may be um, if you if you understand what I'm saying um, Grease fittings the only ones I really seen were you know uh, The front casters there was some on the front wheels uh, I don't know where the other two um, Or three might have been but maintenance on that thing seems very very simplified which I like I love the maintenance free spindles and stuff. Um, I love, you know, the deck not having to worry about all them bolts like the new Toro grandstand, man. Like I'm going to throw a picture up here and show you this and I want to know your thoughts. I mean, mine's got it too. I looked underneath it, but mine's got them weird freaking spindles that have the, you know, the, the laps around it. Um, that hold grass so you're not really scraping in between them bolts anyway because that's where this part of the spindle is uh but with the new deck style of the the grandstand well you know you got all these i, I don't understand i don't know uh you're rounded spindles now but you got all this room um it, it the hustler cut great okay uh it cut good my my issue was uh Here's, here's my thoughts on it is, does, did I, was I getting the stragglers because uh, when I stand on the machine, I'm a heavier guy and so uh, it could be causing that deck to, uh, the rake to go instead of staying like this in the front or, or being dead even like normal. Uh, when I stand on it, it, you know, the rake goes back. And so the back of the deck's lower than the front. And so that, that could be one thing uh, that caused that, um, the deck, the deck. Okay. So the deck lever on the hustler, uh, you know, went down fine. Everything was fine about it. But the one thing that, that really got me was I could literally, it was so easy that I can pull that deck lever up with one finger. Um, it bounces like crazy on, on certain properties and whatnot. I mean, uh, even the slightest little bumps that, you know, normally you wouldn't notice it on, you you notice it on uh, the Hustler because it's just so light uh, that you, you just hear it bouncing. So, I mean, one way to get out of that would be buy another deck pin and stick behind it. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I should have asked if it had flat-free front caster tires. Uh, I'm not sure if it does or not, but... Um, I love the controls. It really feels nice. 
I will say though, that machine does not feel faster than the grandstand. Uh, it, it's supposed to be nine and a half. The grandstand's supposed to be 10 or, you know, something like 10. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 10 miles an hour. Half an hour or half a mile per hour, you really shouldn't tell too much. But man, when I've got that Hustler full, full blast going, uh, you really, I, I feel like it's not even close. I feel like it may be seven or eight miles an hour compared to 10. Like it, you, you can tell that it's not, it don't feel close to, to nine and a half anyway. Um, let's see, I went over the tire width. Uh, I went over with the, the deck cutting being pretty much right the same at the tires. Uh, the controls I like, the, you know, I mean, it, it goes very fast in reverse, uh, which is real nice because this thing is very slow in reverse. Um, what else is there? I think that's pretty much it uh, for pros and cons of the machine that, you know, I can think of right off the top was, was the deck lift, the padding, um, the platforms, you know, was nice. Uh, didn't have any issues with the platform like it was comfortable if they would pad it more Maybe put a hard padding in it like you know Toro did or whatever then uh, you know, it may be better um, On you know for your knees and, and whatever leaning up against anyway uh, We went over the deck not having anything under it um, Grease fittings we went under so I was I, I was wondering if there was a uh, because the, like I said, the deck was so easy to lift up. I was wondering if there was like a spring or something kind of like Toro has on theirs to adjust that to where, you know, it puts more pressure on it, pulls it down more or whatever to where it don't bounce as much. But, uh, they, I couldn't find anything. I don't think they had anything with that. So I guess that's going to do it. Um, real nice machine by all means, but, uh, you know, it, could it have been the rake? Well, it's not worth me spending uh, $11,000 to find out, to be honest. Um, I, like I said, I didn't have any issues other than uh, some stragglers. Uh, and I, I think, think that could have been from the rake of the, you know, the deck from me standing on it. I'm totally not sure. Maybe that's the mower itself. I don't, I don't personally know. But uh, with everything the way it was, I need a mower that's going to hold hills and uh, this mower will go down that hill sideways and I don't know if it's because of the twills, uh, but it, it did it with regular tires on it um, as well, but uh, the Hustler Super S would not and, and I cannot have that. I need something that's going to hold that hill. Uh, you know, like I said, coming up fine, going straight up, holds it fine. But that angle that you see in the video, I mean, it just, it will not do it. And uh, so, you know, these other machines will, so I can't have that. But, uh, so that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them the best I can. And, uh, hey, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Can't stop me now. Can't stop